All right, right, remember how I was telling you guys that you can pretty much just like hire hackers to hack for you? Yeah. And it's actually a highly accessible thing. Yeah. What did you do? I didn't do it, but someone else did it and they used it for evil. Oh, okay. and Brian. No, it's not me, Brian. it's not me. But it's a good example of the stuff I'm always telling you guys about. Brian. So this guy, he contacts a, he contacts a hacker who's in like uh, Pennsylvania nice. at a city called Pottsville. He's not a good hacker, hacker if, if you can identify where he lives. Well, <laughs> he's been caught, and, and here's why. He's so, not a good hacker if he's been caught. He what was commissioned do? to uh, get into the Snapchats of different women and, and steal their private nude photos. What? That's kind of a sick How hack. How can you steal it if it disappears? There's got to be a database though that holds yeah. on to them for like a certain period yeah. of time or something. I think you could still keep your own like stuff for yourself. Oh, for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't used Snapchat in a long time because I don't jack off online anymore. Oh, good. good. Good you don't jack off online. Where do you jack off, Joe? In bed. <laughs> I, I, IRL. Next to my wife where I'm allowed. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. You do. Like I'm a, married. You have like a rolling start system with her, right? Where like you're you're doing this, and then she goes, "I'll take over." Like a baton race. Nope. It's she not doesn't relay. touch me at all. <laughs> Sometimes you drop the baton. The she's, she's, she's like sleeping. No, she goes, "Fuck me," and I'm like, "But you're on your period." So I say, "I'll fuck myself." This is a nightly conversation. <laughs> No, she's not always on her period. Duh, Ryan, don't you know female <laughs> fucking? <laughs> yeah, duh. No well, need for Snapchat anymore, dude. Yeah, well, so uh, he did this for two years from 2020 to 2022. And uh, the way that he did it, how you know what? How do you think he did it? How would a guy get into another woman's Snapchat? That's a um, hacking, not catfishing, but through the so, hacking way. So the way. funny thing about hacking is it's not always Hacking? Oh. Sometimes it's the just easiest like, way to hack is ask, but he's like, yeah, mistake. Yeah, oh. yeah, you could hack their brain because they stupid. Sometimes it's, it's like a human exploit. Oh, you just go, excuse me, can I have your password? Wow, that's exactly how no it's way. written. No <laughs> <way>. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's close. close. It's close. Okay, I'll be like, You're close. I'll send an email and I say. Hi, this is Snapchat. You violated terms of service. In order to correct it, you must sign in to Snapchat here and by giving me your password. Dude, you're honestly like, that's pretty much what he did. Okay, wow. so he did a phishing he uses, scam. He uses a specific texting app that acts like it is Snapchat and it looks very convincing. I guess it like sends you a personal text and tells you like, hey, your, your account is compromised. You need to change your password. Mm -hmm. So then that person will change their password and then something in the app makes it so that you're, I guess, forced to share your verification code after changing it. Mm. And then that's how the guy gets in. And then from there, the racket continues to where once he gets their photos, he gives it to those clients that paid for them. And then those guys in turn send those photos back to the girl wow. in a way to get more. Uh -huh. So they only need so, one. So they just want more photos? Yeah. So to jack off with? Well, what do they do? Uh, no, they, they don't jack off with it at all, it says. Wow. Yeah, of course they jack off. What do you think? No, I, I thought they, well, of <laughs> course they might jack off to it, but I think the second thing they'll do is open up an OnlyFans account and pretend like they're the girls and make money off of the pictures. Oh, but then don't you kind of need to have ID verification in order to start an OF? Or it's not even like to be like, hey, we have these naked photos of you pay us to stop or some shit? No, it doesn't say that they ever did that. It's Give me all your pictures. You know what's weird? That's almost like, Taking a knife from Anthony and say, give me more knives. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. Hey, give me all your knives. That makes sense if he, he, if he just happens to have the sexiest knives. <laughs> and I don't know how to use them in <laughs> my benefit. And he won't give them to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah they don't cut at all. Why would you give them more? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, why aren't they defending themselves with their nude photos? <laughs> yeah, so this guy, he, they would use it to blackmail, maybe they would blackmail them into doing other things, but the hacker admitted to making about 60K from like uh, these orders from wow. different men. That's a legit and gig. It's like dozens of guys have been paying this guy to do Whoa. it. Wow. And uh, yeah, he's since pled guilty to the crimes and he's facing the maximum penalty of how many years? Three. Ooh, close, five. Damn. Five years? Yeah. Well, I thought it'd be a couple months or something. 
<laughs> yeah, it probably will drop down to that, but that's the maximum that he's facing. Oh. So it's probably gonna be like no internet for a week. It's because they don't um, punish. They don't see these crimes as bad as like violent crimes. They don't see them as yeah. It's more like psychological and emotional damage crimes, yeah. which people don't really. I think that uh, internet crimes are actually not as pun like seen as severe. So that's why it's got less sentences, unless you like hack a bank or something. Yeah, if they steal your money, I think that's yeah. like robbery still. I think if you fuck with the government or fuck with anything military oh, yeah. secrets, or if you do anything that's like money and you didn't like you contribute to a politician's campaign or something, then you're going to jail for a long time. Yeah. The most vulnerable part of this entire thing is that he's not paying tax on the earnings. Wow. Probably, right? That's how they always catch you. Mm -hmm. Do you think um, if this guy gets out, let's say he, he does two years maximum, yeah. yeah? You think when he gets out, he's gonna do it again? I don't see why not. Right. It's, or some other racket. Yeah, racket. right. I mean, that's probably one of, who knows how many. Yeah, I'll be This guy racket. doesn't only know how to do this with the internet. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he probably knows how to do all kinds of stuff. That's the crazy thing about hackers for hire. It's like, you're probably the one that's giving them the idea of what they're gonna do with it. Yeah. Think yeah. about all the things you could do with a hacker, but you're like, I want these nude photos from this one girl. Well, that's the thing, because this guy's had <laughs> dozens. So horny. He's had dozens of customers, and only seven of the customers so far are being charged for like working with them to get this material. Wow. So there's probably a lot more out there that are just moving on to the next guy on Fiverr. I, I mean, like I mean, hack. I don't know where you find these guys. <laughs> I would like to hack all my Netflix and Hulu and Amazon uh, subscriptions, and I have to pay. And then, and then yeah, all, the, all the UFC pay-per-views, because I've been supporting a lot, Dana yeah. White, and I always, I don't stream <laughs> illegally like this guy, I always buy no, them. Sure? That's a serious allegation. That's a serious allegation and, and that's about literally me. like 70 Defamation, bucks. Defamation, sue him 70, back. 70, 80 <laughs> bucks, like every fight I pay for that he doesn't pay for. Dude, I pay for every other one. All right. You sure about this? that? I literally pay for all Here's a question for I you, for and you don't have to right. say okay. at all, just, just answer yes or no. Would you? have any use for a professional hacker. Oh, definitely. <laughs> cool. Oh yeah, with his shit, right? But you don't have to say one for it. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Nick? Would you have any use? To stream more illegal oh, UFC. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, uh, actually, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, absolutely. What would you What would you do? Um, honestly, the first priority would be trying to get my phone number off these goddamn calling lists. <laughs> That's one of the first things. Hack them off the list. I'm yeah, on the I'm off. on the hack lists. They're like, oh, your fucking shipment from USPS is missing. Here, okay. don't like copy and paste this URL and then plug yeah. all your information over here. Yeah. I'm like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I just don't respond to anything. Yeah, I get so many emails from things that are obviously so bullshit. Even like a. Um, uh, uh, is it John McAfee Norton antivirus? Yep, I got one today. I just got one two seconds ago. And it's like it's a receipt. I'm like, this one's interesting because it's like, yeah, you already paid for this. It was 400 bucks, and it's just a receipt. And you're like, I guess the first thing you would think is like, no, I didn't pay for this. So you might want to like figure out how to like, yeah, you know what I mean, see if you were charged. But then I was like, wait a minute, this is for sure a scam. So I just check my bank account. I'm like, yeah. I didn't pay for this. I'm like, why the fuck am I getting? Antivirus emails. Right, delete and say fuck you. Yeah. But you know the first time you receive something, you always gotta like double check. You gotta see the sender, what type of email. Yeah. You're always getting shit from Instagram or whatever. Bro, those like, ones, that's uh, second on my list. Yeah. Where they go like, hey, we want you to, hey, congratulations, we, you've been selected to be our new brand ambassador for this fucking women's underwear clothing. Um, you know, sign up here. If I can get. If I can get rid of those, if I could hack those people to blow up their businesses, I wish I could. Cause they're, I'm like, no one's buying your shit, dude. What would you do with a hacker? The hacker's like, hey, one free job, anything. Oh, free? Yeah, free. He'll do it, whatever you want. Hmm. How to scrub all of us off the internet. Oh, that's oh, a cool one. Ooh, that's dope. Like your entire digital footprint? Everything. Wow. Wouldn't we, we just lose all our subscribers? Oh, fuck! You think about that. Damn it! There'd just be no one in the scene. <gasps> Why do I gotta be a public figure? I'm like, isn't this our job? <laughs> <laughs> Why do I make a channel with a face? I mean, I guess you could, you could, you could have that plan on layaway for like, hey, by the once I'm done, scrub like, it. Boom. What if no, we no, try no. faceless JK right now? <laughs> faceless just try. JK? Well, we just like we just, no, not even like that. We just. 
I think it would be easy to guess which one Bart is. We don't address it. We don't address it. And we do like the the, the documentaries where you change the voice. And Somebody you, is listening to this on Spotify and you sound really funny. <laughs> scrub my face, dude. Just scrub it. Yeah? Get you don't it. like having a, a faceful presence? Um, I don't know yet. I haven't really decided, but I, I'm leaning towards no. I have, well, it's not quite a hacker, but um, I have a team of investigators online yeah yeah that helped yeah, me build that. profiles behind people and everything yeah. so like that, that's pretty it's useful yeah yeah without exposing them do you know anybody personally that could probably do some damage hack wise yeah probably cool yeah that's so cool. it's mysterious yeah. dude it's nice to have different ways of attacking <clears throat> there was a time Did we tie there was a time when uh um, uh, during like COVID times, um, in like Vietnamese news articles and stuff like that, people started like slandering my dad. Right? What? Dad? My dad? For no reason? Yeah, uh, basically people were like, for no, for very poor reasons, like uh, upset at him, saying that he was very like, because uh, he like started a bunch of uh, Vietnamese Boy Scout troops in like Garden Grove, Westminster area and stuff like that. So different people or parents or scout leaders that just like had opposition to him or were jealous or whatever the fuck would start putting out different like rumors and stuff saying that he was like very tyrannical or he like- On a things. newspaper? Yeah, like different like Vietnamese like news um, outlets and whatnot. So uh, I do remember that there was times where you know, we would be pissed off. We were, you know, my sister's trying logical countermeasures of like making sure that we, we, there was a hashtag that we started to make sure that people would like pay attention to the good things that he had done for the community over his life and whatnot. But then there was also a very petty side of us like uh, identifying different people that were like the source of certain, some of these things. Ooh. And then, uh, this is the petty side, but like taking, finding their email addresses and then submitting them and signing up to all these different porn sites. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, yeah, that's only because the idea that you don't want to truly, truly be like evil. Yeah. Did you get a patch for that one? Yeah. That's your internet hack. But internet the idea shit. of it, like wanting to do something, but knowing that you're trying to be a good person, so you can't do anything terrible, but like wanting to just do something to, to inconvenience them. Ethics, yeah. yeah. It's really, really fun. Damn. You did good, man. That's a good one.